Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, well, it's been a while since I've done a video. Where you guys been? I don't know. Anyway, I got some, got something from somewhere. So let's uh, unbox it and see what's doing. All right, come see the magic of TV. So. things here. Uh, had to buy quite a bit actually to make um, shipping now. And most of these are to continue series. And so here we go. There she is. So obviously Tokelau 2020. And so this is the porcupine fish or the puffer fish or the box fish or whatever you want to call it. Porcupine fish. Tokelau. So this continues that uh, series of fish, and I'll bust out my collection. We'll add it to that. That's uh, probably going to be the main focus of this video. But there's other things in the package. And like I said, we had to make shipping. So what else did we... Oh, this is the latest in the dinosaur series. So prehistoric life, I should say, not dinosaur. So that one's cool. I think this might be the nicest one since the first release. And so we'll come back on those. Got a couple. Um, and, oh, and also the latest one of the seahorsey from Samoa. Oh, no, this is the Caribbean. I already did the Samoa one a few weeks back or months back, whatever. I uh, kind of delayed on this one, and I had to suffer the consequences. I had to pay dearly for this one, unfortunately, and it doesn't even look like it's that nice. So, and I'm kind of smushing it around the bag. Doesn't help it. Darn that Max bags. Or that place. Uh, so, I also have this series going, the uh, African Wildlife. So, I had to continue that. So, yeah, this was like an expensive continuation of the series type stuff. And then, to top off shipping, I still needed something. And so I got this um, Stanley Cup proof. This is a Canadian proof. And let's see what we got here. Uh, so I'm a huge hockey fan. Um, Stanley Cup playoffs are going on now. Of course, I don't I don't follow it anymore ever since they've changed uh, because of COVID and whatnot. So, um, but let's see, you know who? Hello, there she is. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit um, toned, but um, can't have everything here. So that's pretty cool. So let's get to the porcupine fish and uh, be right back. All right, well, turns out we've got a problem for both these coins to be able to fit into the, onto the page. We've got a, like a full house here on this, uh, on our book. So got to do some rearranging. So let me make some room. I'll be right back and we'll go through some of these. Those are the Tokelau ones right there, but where this guy is here, we need that space. So I'll be back. All right, so rearranging here, leaving room for the latest of the Caribbean seahorse, still bagged up. I gotta put it in a capsule first, but at least we got space. Got the two Samoas up there, a couple of Barbados uh, fish. These are the Australian um, shark series, uh, 2014, 15, 16. Those are super cool, half ounce. But we got all these open ones, and then I got a stack. Where'd, I, where'd they go? Okay, so uh, I had to jettison these guys here, my marlins. Hello! From the Cayman Islands. But we've got all these um, from Tokelau, so let's go through them all. And I even have the half ounce of the tuna. So. Oh, and correction, earlier I said 2020. What a dummy. This is 2021. Hello! All right, so got it out of the package, and it's a bit of a disappointment. So <laughs> getting used to that, I think, with that place. Uh, these are Atmex exclusives, and they didn't start out that way. This series is like a 12-coin 
series, and you can see the quality there or lack thereof. You can barely see the features in her face. And there's supposed to be an inscription on this. Uh, this is a Tuluma, I think. Uh, it's really, you know, a lot of people joke it's her purse or whatever. <laughs> but it's a traditional fishing uh, box or a basket or whatever. And um, you can't read the inscription. So what a piece of... So a little bit disappointed this one also there's a little bit of scrapage on the frosting there and the capsule is a little bit scraped up but yeah um the puffer fish or the porcupine fish um is pretty cool this is the eighth release in the series and it started out, I thought, really cool. I don't really like this busy background. Uh, kind of lets them get away with kind of lesser quality control. Um, 10,000 minted. I think it's three nines fine silver, yeah. Um, so, but we can see the previous, actually last year's also had that kind of busy background. This was the flying fish, and this was a little disappointing as well, I thought. Um, this one, at least you can read the inscription and see that kind of stuff. So I realized this one, maybe they were trying for more of a proof like, but wow, can't read a darn ting there. So anyway, I'll put these, uh, let's uh, rip through them real quick here. We'll go in reverse order. So 2020, and I think this might have been the first of the Atmex exclusive and you can see the um, change in the quality here. Let's do this reverse way right here. So this is the 2019, and these had obviously a different look to them. And you can actually read what the inscription says if I hold it still, but we're not here for that. So, and so these were, that's the other thing. These are coin flip, and that's why I was a little bit confused. These are metal flip, so that's the other. So Hanu, oh no, it's not Hanu, but it should be Hanu in Hawaiian, but Fonu, uh, loggerhead uh, turtle. So uh, that's cool. And then the 2018, and so, oh, sorry again. Uh, and so this is the leopard shark, um, 2017. Barracuda. So that one, um, I had to buy, I think I uh, missed out on the early release there on these and I had to take what I could get. I uh, don't really like that quality, but what are you going to do? 2016. And let's do it right this time. Sheesh. Sailfish. And so, you know, they're not like high relief or anything, but I thought, you know, these were pretty cool. I, I liked this series just because it was one of the first series that I started to collect when I got into silver. So 2015. So this is the white shark, great white shark. And so that one's cool. That just sold pretty quick. Um, so that's a neat one. And then it started in 2014. This is the very first one. And this one also, because I got into the series a little bit late, I had to go back and buy one online, I think, uh, from eBay. It's a bit mucked up, um, but it is the Yellowfin Tuna, and that is the very first one from 2014. So I do like the series, but um, I think since Atmex took it over, it's not uh, all that anymore. I did get a half ounce version of the first one as well, and this is pretty cool. I forget the mintage on this thing, but there she is. So overall, pretty cool. Let's put them in the book and see what we got. All right, got them all in and look pretty cool. Except for, yeah, a little disappointed with the quality on that one. The frosting is a little, a little overdone. I don't think it's worth sending back. I have a feeling they're all going to be like that, but who knows? Maybe I will. It's within the set. I you know I just got it today. So, 
Anyway, filled in most of the rest of the page and I'll do the seahorse another time. And so, yeah, that's kind of cool uh, to be able to show off some of the coins that you do like to look at once in a while. These are called lighthouse pages. And uh, yeah, you can get them on uh, eBay or Amazon or wherever. So anyway, thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.